Ah, oh, it's good to be back in Los Angeles. I was in Paducah, Kentucky. <laughs> well, that's a nice place. I had to fly there on one of those little planes, you know. <laughs> Expect to see a guy with a string in the middle there. <laughs> the whole flight, I'm thinking Paducah is the sound your body makes when it hits the ground. <laughs> give you coffee on airplanes. Is that what you need when you're cooped up for hours and hours? Fifth cup? Thanks. Can I jog in the aisle? <laughs> I'm wearing my seatbelt. I love being wired out of my skull and strapped down to a chair. <laughs> my brother's going out with a flight attendant now. I get a big kick out of this. Uh, not the brightest girl. She's stewardess for a cargo airline. <laughs> the woman walks down the aisle between packages. More string. <laughs> time you get on a plane there's no row 13 the seats go 11 12 14 does it make you feel good knowing the airline is superstitious <laughs> you're gonna go in the cockpit see rabbit's feet hanging all over the place the mechanics under the plane like this you know <laughs> steward is throwing salt over his shoulder <laughs> your captain has asked me to inform you step on a crack break your mother's back would happen, only the people in 13 die. Anyway, you know, plane piles in the side of a mountain 800 miles an hour, row 13 wiped out. You know? <laughs> Wanna have fun? Talk to the people in row 14. That's really 13. <laughs> Last year, I got to go to France. My first time ever traveling out of the country. Really exciting and, wow. Don't speak French, got the little phrase book, you know, little French for travelers, waste of time. I had to find a bus terminal. I look up the phrase, it's in there, where is the bus? Où est l'autobus? <laughs> like, I couldn't have made that up. <laughs> and I walked up to a guy, I say, excusez-moi, où est l'autobus? <laughs> he says, c'est tout à la main, c'est des bedouins, c'est des bedouins, c'est des bedouins. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> They have a section on dating lines for picking up women written out in French, really. Women, if a guy walked up to you with the book, <laughs> do you live nearby? <laughs> I'm gonna go right home with this guy. What's he gonna say when you get there? The engine makes a funny noise? <laughs> they should have phrases in there Americans really need when we're traveling abroad, like, don't shoot me, I'm Canadian. <laughs> Got to see my brother back east. We get along well now. It's nice. We always fought as kids. My brother used to block the TV. He always me, hi, I'm so tired. Huh? <laughs> mom, he's blocking the TV. I'm not. I'm just stretching. <laughs> my mom always said the same thing. I don't want to have to separate you two. <laughs> Mommy kicked me. Blocked the TV. I don't want to have to separate you two. I don't want to have to separate you two. <laughs> mom, what kind of a threat is it to separate me from the worst human being on the face of the earth? <laughs> separate me. Build me a wing. He used to poke me, too. Is there poking in your house? Oh, he poked, poke, poke, poke. Mom, he's poking, he's poking, poking! You know what she said? What's the big deal? What's the big deal, Mom? Try this. That's no big deal, is it? I don't know. Finally, she made a rule. Finally, she said to him, don't touch your brother, don't touch him. And I was so relieved, you know, until he came around, I'm not touching you. <laughs> Just ignore me. Mom, he's about, I'm not touching him. <laughs> this hurts more than touching. There's electron beams coming off of this. I'd be begging him, touch me, please, touch me, touch me. I'm sorry, rules are rules. <laughs> we had dumb toys. Play money, did you know that? <laughs> Look nothing like real money. Giant bills, they're purple. There's a chicken in the middle. <laughs> then in little letters, not legal money. <laughs> bring one of these in a store, they're gonna notice the fine print after they miss the purple chicken. <laughs> of course, the cashiers are such morons, oh, we don't take Canadian money. <laughs> I was never good in school. My favorite part of the school year, buying the supplies. I always liked that. You know, like loose leaf filler paper. The trip to Woolworths was the peak of my academic year, right? There. <laughs> Textbooks always had that chart in the front for your name and year and homeroom. Did you ever put anything true in there? <laughs> Not in my school. There'd be announcements in the lunchroom. A math book was found belonging to Math Sucks. <laughs> 29 guys show up. Oh, that's mine. That could be mine. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Bought a new protractor every year for 11 years. I still don't know what they're for. <laughs> Rubber cement, spread it on your desk, make fake boogers all day. <laughs> oh. And the Elmer's glue, that's for your hand. It's skin, ma! Eraser, remember that? Ink eraser. Should have been called the paper ripper. <laughs> well, that took the word right off the page. Could use a shotgun for the same effect, but now we got a little window, could see the word from the other page. That's pretty nice. And the compass for drawing circles. Every time you took that thing out, out! Oh, Jeez, you'd skewer yourself. They hear that stupid safety school scissors couldn't cut dirt, but a compass that would kill a horse. Thank you very much.